This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. Groundwater is disappearing. Aquifers are declining. Wells suck air. Communities across America are drying up. Farming depends on the underground reservoirs, and without water, fields of crops could wither. Weakening water resources have many farmers concerned because in five or ten years, their farms will no longer exist. It's a question of how much time is left, said Kansas farmer Jay Gerritsen. The High Plains Aquifer, which lies beneath eight states, from South Dakota to Texas, is the lifeblood of one of the world's most productive farming economies and supplies water to about one-fifth of the country's corn crops, wheat, and cattle. Also known as the Ogallala, the aquifer has been rapidly declining, and each year more wells go dry. In western Kansas, the groundwater has already been exhausted, while in other areas, the remaining water could easily be used up within a decade. The crisis, however, is nationwide, as far more water is being pumped from underground than can be naturally replenished which has groundwater levels plummeting. From California to the Gulf Coast Plain, to the Mississippi River Valley, and from the southwest to the southeast, irrigation water is at a premium. In a nationwide study of the problem, USA Today found that water levels are falling in nearly two-thirds of the wells it studied. That was 32,000 wells. And the U.S. Geological Survey revealed that nationwide water levels have declined 64% in the last two decades, with the average decline more than 10 feet, while in some areas the water table has dropped more than 100 feet. That's 5 feet per year. As drought in the West has intensified, groundwater levels have also declined as overpumping has intensified even in relatively wet states like Maryland and Florida. Drought and loss of water resources is a harbinger of famine. And as we near the end of time, it is important to remember Jesus' words. And there shall be famines, Matthew 24, verse 7. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.